As you guys have seen, the last series of videos have all been about getting the car to this moment, ready for the dyno. Today, we're gonna see what sort of numbers we get. We're finally gonna do tons of car videos with real cars. Street races, not supposed to, but street races, drag strip, half mile, all that sort of stuff. Now that this car's back at full speed, all while we're working on the four rotor. I've really grown to like the angle of this pipe. Are you mute? <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to you guys. Jared just woke up. Poor guy. Just wake up. Yeah, he did. Turn the camera on yourself and tell the, the world what you think this car's gonna do. I did wake up. I just woke up. <laughs> Realistically, 1,001 horsepower. I'm gonna go 1,069 horsepower. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I am terrified. It is very scary for me. Yeah, a thousand horsepower doesn't mean anything specific. It is a massive milestone, and I think we're going to hit it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that pole, fourth gear. 35 psi. For some reason, the wastegate didn't kick on. You took off. I, <laughs> yeah. Out it was. It was. I was up and then back off. Like I literally was like for a fraction of a second up, and I was like, oh shit, my my waste uh, my uh, boost gauge went red. <laughs> I'm like, oh that's not good. Jared, he's not driving the car, but I'm handing the keys to him. Abel's driving the car. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun without you. <laughs> Oh, I got to go. tell them how so they can get up there. I'm not uh, doing it. You're doing it. I'm not driving that car. I'll yes. tell Parker. What <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you no, said no, yeah? I just want to do it. What the hell? What's wrong with you guys? We're just going to do a quick oil change. Swap with oil. Be good. I'll be honest, if my performance in this video is a little flat, uh, I'm terrified. It's just the excitement of pushing the limits so much further it gets me nervous, but I'm in my head. So it is what it is. I've had this on there for like three years. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Through that hole right there, and then run it to here, and then run that one to this one across them. Okay. I remember going over the lower control arm, but hooking oh, onto the. I should get them, huh? <laughs> should I get them, Sharon, or do you go below? Get them. Get them. right now where just even getting 15 psi on the car uh, the fuel pressure just plummets absolutely plummets it's like it's not even holding we're gonna dig into that a little bit further but of course first pull and, and it goes lean because the differential fuel pressure drops to under 30 psi our base pressure is way the hell up there but as soon as we start rising it doesn't so we got some <laughs> digging into it Okay, so your answer is you want to hook up the secondary hook pump. Up the secondary pump, and let's and see, see if that pushes it at all. I set, it, I set it up so that we could. I think that you're not. You might have too much load on the batteries. If the pumps are working correctly, that's going to be real sensitive. If you don't have a lot of pressure and the pumps aren't working correctly, yes, you're going to open and close it, and you're not going to see nothing happening. Regulator. The regulator itself, when we 
and it's not adjusting to uh, uh, manifold pressure at all. I, I knew it when I was when I first unplugged in. I'm like, these numbers aren't changing. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Take that back on for a second. Uh, can you bring bring me more towels? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Here's some more, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna tear into this thing after we're all said and done. See why this thing failed on us. It's the boost or the manifold pressure line. The video we made forever ago about uh, super soakers and differential pressure. It's broken. All right, well, we'll, we'll fire this one up. Make sure that uh, that's the only problem. Let her rip. charger but the charger got unplugged because of one of the cars moving in and out of the shop no where, where did the battery that you're currently installing in there come from uh wise tech courtesy of wise tech courtesy of frank Escali. take the battery We've got fuel pressure. That's very clear that the differential fuel pressure stays right around 50. It dips like one PSI. The, the fact is that it's not getting the amount of fuel it thinks it's getting. So it's going lean, even though Abel's throwing tons of fuel in, it in the ECU. So we have to figure out why it's not getting, it's getting pressure, but not flow. That's our current problem. So for the sake of diagnostics, we're gonna take the fuel filter off, take the guts out of the fuel filter. Well, it's inspected. If it's really obviously clogged, our smoking gun right there, put it back in and see if we maintain fuel flow at that pressure. <laughs> All right. Just open it up. Yeah. Go right here. <laughs> Jared, that's what it sounds like when you have like a night terror. <laughs> doesn't look very good. It doesn't, there's tons of shit in it. Definitely filtering. I mean, we're gonna do this and uh, simplify the circuit in the back of the car. 
All right, so we just got the uh, our empty fuel filter back in. We're gonna simplify this wiring here so we eliminate as much as possible because the relays themselves have fuses internally. I just got rid of this shitty fuse from uh, AutoZone. Just that filter, look how much it helped it. But it's still, it's still leaning out at the yeah. top end. And that's what I got out of it early. Yeah. Yeah, definitely doing the extra relays just to stop that as a, a potential problem. Well, so you exactly. Making a thousand horsepower is definitely not one of the easier things you can do in life, but in this case, we're slowly making it there. Slower than we want, but I also don't want to blow up my brand new engine. The thing we're having right now is fuel pressure is fine, but fuel flow is not. So we have the pressure, but the actual sheer amount of fuel that's getting to the engine is dropping off dramatically. This is way less than the two pumps did before. So there's either something wrong with not, not so much my wiring as much as not wiring enough power into the surge tank, or there's something wrong with the wall bros inside the surge tank themselves. We've narrowed it down. We've had fuel pressure regulator issues. We've had fuel filter. The fuel filter itself made caused about 40 horsepower difference and affected the air fuel ratios. So got a lot of issues hammered through. We're gonna attack it first thing tomorrow morning and probably by the time you guys are watching this video, we'll be on our way to a thousand. Wait, 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 I got, I got one. You got one? Yeah, okay. Is it?